What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing an Angry Point Water Tauros team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this is going to be my first time actually using one of the new Tauros forms. And I heard the water and fighting Tauros, or I actually seen the water and fighting Tauros all over the rank ladder. And it seems to be a solid Pokemon, so cannot wait to use it and showcase it in today's video. We can get started here in that top left corner with the one and only Hariyama for today's team preview. Got that guts, got that flame more very strong Pokemon and trick room and a great Pokemon all around it has protect it has facade fake out and train punch for its moveset hydrogon is going to be the second pokemon with the life orb and levitate really can't go wrong with this moveset that it has it has flash cannon dragon pulse dark pulse tailwind again cannot go wrong solid hydrogon set right there middle left our third pokemon is going to be garchomp over here and this one's a little bit off meta it's holding the rocky helmet and the rough skin as its item and ability so whenever a physical attacker hits this thing it's going to take a nice chunk of damage and then its moveset's a little off meta with the dragon rush eq poison jab and protect Cannot wait to use it, throw off some opponents, and pick up some big time KOs. Fourth Pokemon is going to be that Water and Fighting Tauros. Brand new in Generation 9, really cool Pokemon, cannot wait to use it, but it has Anger Point as an ability. And what Anger Point allows us to do is every time this Pokemon gets hit by a critical hit, its attack stat goes to plus 6. So it goes all the way up, and this thing can legit one-shot anything. So from there, we can pretty much just Aqua Jet first in priority and take out anything that we want. But in order for us to pop that, we're going to need our boy Frost Ice, who is down in the bottom left hand corner. It has Frost Breath, which hits 100% of the time, critical hitting. And yeah, if we just hit our Tauros, Tauros is going to get boosted. Tauros has that Assault Vest, and the moveset consists of Aqua Jet, Close Combat, Raging Bull, which is a really cool new move. Takes off Light Screens and War Veils, and it hits pretty hard. And then he has Terror Blast for its final move. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Frost Ice over here. And Frost Ice, like I already mentioned, pairs well with the Tauros to do that Frost Breath move. It has Cursed Body and the Focus Dash as item, Destiny Bond, Will-O-Wisp, and Ice Shard. Final Pokemon is going to be our support mod. It is going to be Grimmsnarl. And if you guys know me, you guys know I absolutely love this Grimmsnarl set. Prankster, Light Clay, Light Screen, Reflect, Spirit Break, Sucker Punch. Cannot go wrong with it. Works so well in this game. Guys, if you want to write the team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Anger Point Water Tauros team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Frigoraph Trick Room team with Drought, Torkoal, Annihilate, King Gambit, Hariyama, and Meet Ascarada. How should I lead this one? How should I play it? I feel like maybe leading Hariyama could be good. What is your speed, Tauros? That's, that's the real question. That is the real question. 167, we might not want to bring you in here. We just might not want to bring you in here. But, granted, I mean, you are faster than these other Pokemon. You are way faster than these other Pokemon. But these other Pokemon aren't too good in a Trick Room either. But do I have any way of countering up onto this trick room? I mean, I can set up screens and stuff and kind of get after the battle that way. Which wouldn't be bad. I mean, set up screens, kind of go that route and just waste out the trick room. Right? Seems like seems like our, our, our best play, right? It seems like our best play. I could always Destiny Bond a Pokemon and roll out from there. I am with that. I am kind of with that. Hmm. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do? What do I want to do? I could go into you. Just trash slides in the ground, just start slapping up on things. But I definitely want to go Grimmsnarl here and waste out some turns. I could also go in with Fake Out. I mean, who would his Trick Room Setters be? I mean, we can't Fake Out the Frigoriff. That would be a problem. That would be a problem. But I'm still going to go into you. I'm going to go through there, there. I am going to bring Garchomp. And I'm going to have Taurus and have some fun. Actually, we didn't get to pick it, did we? Maybe I got Frost Slice in there. I, I, I want a Frost Slice just for Destiny Bond. But we'll see. We'll see how this one plays out. We shall see who it actually picks us. But I did get three Pokemon down. Hopefully, it gives me my lead because I, I can get down with my lead. I have a uh, Drain Punch and I have a nice, lovely Guts Hariyama. Be huge for us to have out in the trick room. We'll see who they want to lead. Probably going to be like Frigraph something. Frigraph Hariyama. Yeah, so he can fake me out. And of course, it kind of screws me over here. I don't get my I don't get my Grimstone, which I really want it. I don't have my Grimstone at all. But you know what? We'll make it work. We'll make it work. We have the Tauros. We have the Garchomp. He's going to fake one of my Pokemon out, which kind of sucks. I can't fake out any of his Pokemon. So I might as well protect let him set up the Trick Room, right? Do I let him set up the Trick Room? Or do I just go... I might just go straight into a Dark Pulse. But I doubt he just punches me. I, I would I would think he would fake me out. Correct? So there's no point, point of protecting you. I might as well go into a Drain Punch or something. Drain Punch is just Dark Pulse across the board. I can always swap Hydreigon next turn. He goes for the fake out into... Yeah, Hydreigon. That's totally fine. I flinch. I'm going to drop a Drain Punch. He's going to pop a Trick Room. That's fine. That's fine. We can deal with it. We can deal with it. 
We can deal with that. So this should trick him out and about. Um, I could Terrasize here, but Terrasizing and Steel won't really do me any good. Might just have to Terrasize into or swap in a Pokemon. Tariyama seems like he's going to be a pain. Right? Seems like he's going to be a big time pain. But yeah, Hariyama's are burned. Uh, I think I gotta start doing damage to that thing, right? Besides, gonna be double damage. I have Terra of Normal, which isn't bad. I might have to Terrasize you right now. That's the problem. If I Terrasize you in the Normal, it's gonna suck because if he hits me with a fighting move, I'm dead. But I think he would go for the Hydreigon slot. I am gonna Terrasize you. And gonna, I'm gonna hope that you're, you're the slowest on the field. Let me see your stats. 70 speed? That's not bad. What's your nature? Careful nature. I mean, that's the lowest a Hariyama could get. So I guess it would be like a speed tie. I'm going to do that. I am going to swap you into... So we'll go you. And we'll go from there. That's fine. So we're going to swap the Hydreigon. Probably a fighting move coming in there. We're going to Terrasize. If he drops a fighting move into my Hariyama, I'm going to be so upset. So that's my plan. Just to get off as much damage as I can into the Hariyama slot. Furigraph might be going for like a Psychic in the Hariyama. That's what I kind of see happening in this turn. Is like Furigraph going after my Hariyama and Hariyama going after my Hydreigon slot, which is now Water Tauros. Not too bad. Not too bad. I got normal Hariyama out here. Came to play. Came to play. He's going to go for a Shadow Ball. Ooh. Ooh. I'll take that. I'll take that. Nice swap from us. He's going to go for close combat into Tauros. Tauros is dead. Does not eat that up remotely. Not even remotely close. That's fine. That's fine. I'd rather have my Hydreigon than the Tauros, to be honest. Now we're going to roll into a facade. It's stab. It's coming in hot. His defense is dropped, and we dump on a Hariyama. So that's a great play for us. A really solid play for us. He's definitely going to bring out the Torkoal, which I kind of don't like. I really don't like at all. And we'll go from there. We know the Torkoal's coming in here. We know Torkoal's coming in here. So I, I got to go into you. I have to go into you. Or I can go into you. Or I can go into you. I'm just going to go into Garchomp. Garchomp seems a bit better here. So Torkoal coming out here? Yeah. Easy read. We, know, we already know what's happening. And we're going to throw out the lovely little Chomps. So Chomps can come out here. I would love to get off an EQ. But I don't know if I can. And I can always try, right? I can always try. I could protect you. And kind of go from there. Or I could drop a Dream Punch into somebody. So I'm thinking going into this Torkoal slot. We know he's erupting. I already know he's erupting. You know, I'm going to go for the EQ. I'm going to go for the EQ here. EQ Dream Punch. I'm doubling down on attacks. He's going to try size and fire. He's going to rip into me. It's going to rip into me. It's terrifying. I don't like it. Not a fan. Not one bit. We'll see how this one must play. This sucks, man. If I would have had my Grimstrong, this could have helped us out so much more with the light stream. So much more. Overheat. Okay, so he's dropping overheat. He's going into this real question. I'm going to go into Hariyama. Okay, so Hariyama died. I don't, I don't mind that right there. I don't mind that. You drop your special attack very bad. I'm popping EQs. Hariyama goes down, and we just have Hydreigon. So, yeah, and Trickrim's coming, coming to a close soon. Trickrim is coming to a close soon. Oh, nope. It has the eject pack. It's swapping right out. That's actually weird. I'm not worried about this, uh, this Torkoal too much if I can get this Trickrim over. I'm going to throw out Gambit. Okay, so now Gambit's going to have to take this. Hyper Voice coming hot here. We're able to soak up pretty well here. And this thing has the third spray. All right, Garchomp. I need you to get some big damage off here. Take out the Gambit, at least. I don't know if you can. EQ's flying out here. Some nice chunks of damage. Brings them both down low. How many turns left in Trick Room? Because we are forced to bring out you. I'm hoping it's one. I don't know how many are left. It's got to be close. Got to be close. Let's see. Let's see how many turns are here. Two. That one kind of hurts. Two turns left. Uh. Hmm. I wish I had Protect on this thing. I do want to take out the Gambit. But I can't really take out the Gambit. That's a problem. I don't want a Sucker Punch to come in here and just dump on me. That's my that's my real problem. Hmm. I'm going to hope that Dragon Pulse can actually take this thing out. I don't know if it can. I don't think it can. I'm just going to have to protect you. Because we know the Sucker Punch is coming in hot. Or even like whatever move he wants to use. He's going to go into my Chomp. Just for an Iron Head, wow. Did he just read my Protect? I could have just popped an EQ for free. I could have popped an EQ for free. The Protect comes out. Can you eat that up, Hydreigon? Oh, free Sash. Free Focus Sash. Can you KO here? 
You can KO. Okay. So now I have... I have to land a Protect, right? Only way I win this game is if I land a Protect. I have to land a Protect to win this game. I have to land a Double Protect, waste out the last Shurken turns, and then pop an EQ for the win. Only shot at win this game. And I don't even know if we could take out the Torkoal at that point, right? I would hope that we can. I mean, it's Garchomp. Torkoal's back out and about. Came to play. We gotta go for Double Protect. Again, only way we can win this. Land it, Garchomp. Land it. Show him that you're you're the man. Show him that you're the man. Double protects for the win. Garchomp. Garchomp. You're better than that. You're so much better than that. So much better than that. But hey, match number one's not going to go to us. A little tough there, but hey. It's okay. It's no big deal. It's no big deal because I'm going to win match number two. And I'm going to win match number three for you guys. But we, we did not even... Well, we weren't able to pick our team in the beginning because we ran out of time. But it is what it is. Second match coming at you guys. We ended up losing that first one, but it came down to the wire. It was legit this close. If we would have brought the team that we wanted to and we didn't run out of time and get the random team, we probably would have won that considering I would have set up the screens with the Grim Snarl that would have helped us uh, waste out at least one more turn in Trick Room. And that's all we needed was to waste out one more turn. If we, and if we would have had that, we would have won the match. But hey, we'll take that L. We're hopping into our second battle going up against a Palafin team with Dragonite, Amoongus, Gengar, and then uh, Raichu and Pelipper. Okay, uh, Raichu could definitely be a lead just to fake me out. So I might want to go... Who do I want to go? Who do I want to go here? I mean, I can go Frost Slice just to, just to dodge the fake out. And then I might just protect the Hariyama. I could do that. Or I can go fake out on my own. I can force the fake out into that slot. You know what? I'm going to go Hariyama here just to force the fake out into that slot. I'm all about it. So I'm going to go Har Hariyama. I am going to go... I might go in with the Bull. I might go in with the Bull for a lead. I don't mind the bull being the lead. The bull can get some work done. I can see him leading Palafin and uh, Raichu. That definitely seems like a lead that he's going to do. So I'm going to bring in the bull. Actually, you know what? I might just set, just set up a Tailwind at that point. Big speed. Yeah, and then bull and Garchomp in the back end. Makes the most sense for me. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. But yeah, I'm definitely a little upset that I lost that last battle. Came down to the wire. Just needed one more turn trick. And that's why I was hoping to double protect to land. Because then at that point, I could just pop a free EQ. Say GG's. Rip up into both of those Pokemon. But it's okay. But again, we'll take that Elder Chin. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win in this battle. Raichu and Gengar coming out here. Not too bad. Uh, Obviously, he wants to fake out. And I wonder if he's going to, or who he's going to fake out here. That's a real question. I can't do anything over on this slot. Which kind of sucks. But I could fake out you. I could definitely fake out you. But I think I'm just going to drain punch you. And go for the tailwind setup, correct? I like that the best. I'm going to take, take some speed here. He's going to go for the fake out. That's fine. And Gengar should go for an icy win. Okay. The icy win slows me down. I would love to get off this Tailwind at this point. I don't know if we can do that. I don't know if we can get off this Tailwind. I flinch. I flinch. Green Punch flying out here. Doing some nice lovely damage. Bring this thing down to one. If we get some HP back, we go back to full. And our burn guts is going to start chipping up. Yeah, I really want to get off this Tailwind. Really want to get off this Tailwind. I'm just going to Drain Punch into this slot again. And I'm just going to go for another Tailwind. I'm going to go for this another Tailwind. I wonder what he's going to do to me. I'm going to Volt Switch out. That's fine. Hopefully, whatever Pokemon he's going into is not going to take too kindly to the Strain Punch. But it actually might be Pelipper, right? Thinking about it, it's probably Pelipper. But I'm hoping my Hydreigon can just eat up whatever this Gengar has to offer. And we can just go from there. Set up this Tailwind and take this battle. It's going to be Dragonite. Okay, so Dragonite's uh, I mean, he's going to be able to soak it up. Wait, this one's going to fight. Okay, so we do eat this up. We do eat up this turn. I'll take that all day. More importantly, we, we get off this... uh. Get off this lovely little Tailwind. Tailwind's out and about. Um, hmm. What's your play here? Dream Punch flying in that. Doing a little bit of damage. Not bad damage for a not very effective move. And I feel like we just double down to Dragonite. Correct? It makes the most sense. Double down to Dragonite. I mean, I feel like I have to. I have to hit the, hit the Dragonite <laughs> with, uh, with that move. I could go for Dark Pulse. But I'm going to double down to Dragonite. Because it's either he Terrasides or he doesn't. And hopefully we can get off a shot into it. And we know that the Terrasalize type is probably normal, right? No, it goes for straight Icy Wind. Kind of hurting the soul a little bit. And my Hydreigon eats. So pick your poison. Please go after my... I think he would go after ha Hariyama, right? I think so, right? Dragon Call? Nope. Right into my Hydreigon slot. Okay, we can deal with that. 
We could definitely deal with that. Gengar's kind of annoying me right now. It really is low key. I mean, I do have what's called a kind of uh, counter it. My Garchomp later in the match. I'm just going to save it. Get a crit on that. Doing some nice big chunk of damage. Going back up into green, but Burn's going to bring us back down to yellow. We'll see what he wants to do. Because he still has Raichu. Full HP. I do have Aqua Jet. I do have Aqua Jet indeed. I think I should save that. I think I should just go into you, correct? Do I want to do here? This jeans want to do here. I could thrash slice. Huh? I guess I'm going to the bull. I'm thinking of just aqua jetting the. Uh, I'm thinking of just aqua jetting the Gengar slot. Maybe just going into a facade here to KO. Facade into an aqua jet. I'm kind of with that. I could go rage a bull, then aqua jet next turn. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go Rage Bull and then Aqua Jet next turn. I'm all about it. All about it. I'm all about it. Alright, let's see what he's gonna go into. This is kind of tough. He could end up Thrasalizing. I don't see him doing it though. Because then he knows that he dies. He knows he dies, but he's gonna die regardless. I don't think he wastes Thrasalize here. We know he has Raichu in the back and Raichu's kind of sitting low on HP. I could Aqua Jet to KO it. Huh. It's going to be a good battle. It's going to be a real good battle. Because we're saving our Trasalization for a Garchomp. I love a little Garchomp. Rage of Bull comes out here. We outspeed all that. That's huge. And we're going to bring that thing down to red. We can't Rage of Bull anymore. That's totally fine. We're just going to Aqua Jet and KO that next turn. And Shadow Ball is going to fly here. Can you eat that? You can. That's a nice eat up there. And you're going to double down. So he doubles down. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. I don't, I don't, hmm. So we're just gonna Aqua Jet here. We definitely have to Aqua Jet to get rid of the Gengar. I'm gonna Aqua Jet, get rid of the Gengar. I am gonna Thrasalize. And I'm just going to, we go for a Dragon Rush, but this is only 75 accuracy. Poison Jab is probably our play. We're gonna hope that Poison Jab can actually KO that. And then Aqua Jet comes in hot here and finishes off the Gengar. I'm all about that. Okay, this is actually a really close battle. Really, really close battle. We know he has Raichu in the back end. It's all one HP. It's kind of just back in a Pokemon for uh, for a fake out, which can be really big. And I'm just looking to straight up Aqua Jet it down. That would that would be my best play. But we're gonna throw our size in the ground because we don't want we don't feel like taking a Dragon Claw here. We really don't. He's gonna end up trash sizing as well. Okay, you want straight normal typing? I feel like that would be your, your your play, right? Straight normal for the uh, yeah for the E speed. Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you. I see you. Protect coming out. Ooh, that's a great protect. That's a great, great protect. That's a great protect coming out from him. Aqua Jet's going to go first. We know Aqua Jet outspeeds this uh this Dragonite. So that could be good for us. Poison Jab flying through. Oh, we outspeed you. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. That's huge. I thought E Speed was coming here. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. So Dragonite drops out here. We still have the bull ready to Aqua Jet to get rid of this Gengar. Or if I had to guess, he's going to have to go into... uh. I forgot we saw the Tailwind set up. Yo, Tailwind. Thank you. Thank you. And he's going to go into the Raichu. So now he can fake out whoever he wants. And I mean, this just seems like... This just seems like we have to EQ here, right? Right? Makes the most sense. Like, who's he going to fake out? That's the real question. I'm gonna pop an EQ. I am gonna pop the EQ. It just seems like a play, and I'm just gonna Aqua Jet into this thing. Who are you faking out, Raju? That, like, I just don't know. Fake out's coming out here into the Tauros. That's fine. This is why we EQ, just in case that, that would happen here. Gengar's probably dropping Icy Wind. Yeah. Slowing us down a little bit. We're gonna pick up the double KO. And hopefully, I, yo, I will cry if this EQ takes out my Tauros. I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking you could eat it up all day, Tauros. I'm thinking you could eat it up all day, but I, I didn't really factor in that we're trash slicing the ground. Tauros, I need you, buddy. Okay, Tauros. Good work. Good work. <laughs> on 23 HP. I'll take that all day. Only if we crit it. If we crit it, our Tauros on accident, that would be beautiful. That would be beautiful. But we're both minus one on speed. He has one more Pokemon left. No Terrasalization is here. And it's going to be Amoongus. Amoongus is here. Everybody, Amoongus is here. EQ's going to be neutral. 
Poison Jab is going to be there. Dragon Rush? I don't really want to go in the Dragon Rushes. What do I do here? I think we just start slapping up on this thing because Dragon Rush is going to miss. But you know what? It's not going to miss. I have a lot of faith in that. I'm going to do that and... Why is Terra Blast super effective? That makes no sense. Okay, it's on to the other slot. I feel like just from here, we can't reach a bull, which kind of sucks. Those Comet's really not going to do anything. I could jet. We're just going to Terra Blast. Go for Dragon Rush here. Terra Blast coming in here. It's just staying normal. Doing a little bit of damage to that. Oh, a little bit of nothing. A little bit of nothing. Dragon Rush. This is why I don't use you. This is why I don't use you. This is why we should have Dragon Claw. Now I'm Spore and I'm asleep. Oh, dude, that's ugly. This is why I didn't want to use Dragon Rush. I just did not want to use that. Absolutely did not want to do that. My move's no longer disabled, but it's going to do nothing. I oh, screw it. I'm just popping EQs for the rest of the battle. EQs and Terra Blast. <laughs> Terra Blast coming out of here. I, I'm, I'm sick of Dragon Rush. Sick of it. I knew I shouldn't have used it. I even said it to you guys. I said, oh, yo, I do not want to use that. I do not want to use it. Let's see. He's going to clear Smog. Start trying to take out my Tauros. Tauros goes out of here. Now I'm just sending EQs. I'm just sending EQs. I'm, just, I'm over. I'm over the Dragon Rush. <laughs> I knew it, dude. That, that annoys me. That annoys me that I still went into it. That I still went into it. That's why Dragon Claws are so much better. Garchomp wakes up here. Beautiful. EQ's flying. Getting after it. It's neutral. Should be able to do a nice chunk of damage, right? Huge chunk of damage. I don't see him Moogus win this battle at all. Clear Smog's gonna do like five. Yeah, it's over with. It's over with. So it's all good that we missed the Dragon Rush. We really got to showcase the bull in that battle. The Tauros did amazing. It did really, really good. That was huge. So match number two goes to us. Nice solid second battle. We're sitting one on one for today's video. Let's hop to our third and look for that winning record. Third and final match coming at you guys. Sitting one on one. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a winning record. But we're going up against a really cool team. They got a Glamour team alongside with Prankster, Klefki, and then they got Titar, Hydreigon, Garchomp, and Storm Drain, Gastrodon. How should I play this one? How should I get after it? I feel like leading the Tauros and Frost Lash just to have some fun here in match number three. That's exactly what we're going to do. Bring in both those Pokemon. Um, and then in the back end, I feel like Garchomp's going to be solid. And last but not least, we could go Hydreigon. I kinda, I'm kind of digging Hydreigon here. Double Dragon? If you have two dragons, I'm going to bring two dragons. We're locking it in. We're locking it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number three and grab ourselves that winning record. Because first battle came this close. We ended up losing it. Second battle, the bull was carrying, doing absolute work. Garchomp picked up the final KO. Almost almost annoyed me with that dra dragon rush miss, but it'd be like that. That's exactly why I was saying. I was just like, I was like, I don't know if I should use dragon rush considering I know I'm going to miss. And I was just like, screw it. I'm going to land it. And then, of course, I ended up missing it. Such a good move, but Dragon Claws are so much better because you can rely on it. You can really rely on that move. But let's see where our opponent's going to lead. It's probably going to... I feel like Klefki. I, I always love Klefki and such a cool Pokemon, so I definitely have to use it soon. But it's not a bad Pokemon. It has Prankster, which is amazing. It can set up screens. And I know it learns Thunder Wave, so it's kind of like a Grimmsnarl with worse typing. Steel and Fairy. Steel and Fairy's not bad, to be honest. Grimmsnarl just uh, it hits harder. That's that's its, that's its advantage. With Spirit Break and Soccer Punch, it can hit a lot harder. But Klefki, I would not sleep on Klefki. I would not sleep on the Jingly Keys. It's just too cool of a Pokemon. Too cool of a Pokemon. Our opponent's going to end up leading Titar and Glamora. So Sandstream's going to get set up here. Um, Glamora's a really cool Pokemon in this uh, series as well. And from here, do we think Titar? Because I could I could KO Titar here, which I'm going to go for. I could go for Raging Bull, because Raging Bull will KO it regardless. I don't think we should go for close combat. And I am going to go for this Frost Breath here. I'm going to look to just max out my attack and rip into the Titar. Hopefully Titar doesn't Trastalize. Again, I can just straight up close combat that thing if I want to. It would have been four times super effective. But the reason I'm not close combating is I'm going to be uh, plus six anyway. So I might as well Rage and Bolt and not lower my defense stat. And I should have close combat because now we're getting Storm Drained. Hurt Soul. Hurts the soul. Should have went for the close combat. Raging Bull gets blocked here. Storm Drain out and about. And I'm just going to close combat that thing. It's dead next turn. Stands no chance. He's dead. He's dead. He's going to taunt who? He's going to taunt me? I can't Destiny Bond. You're dead. You're dead, Titar. You are a dead man. You're done. You're done. Unless you try slice here. Which I, it's probably going to do. It's probably going to outplay. Outplay me like crazy. You're done for. You're done for. <laughs> you are done. Um, I could hard swap you. Which I think is probably going to be my play, right? Hard swap into like a Pokemon like you. Yeah. I'm with it. I'm going to hard swap. I'm going to save. 
my Destiny Bond Pokemon. Because I can always Destiny Bond and take out somebody I want to. So we're going to swap into Hydreigon. We're going to see if that T-Tar is Terrasalizing. Protect. We're going to Terrasalize next turn. Oh my god. This opponent is just reading me hard right now. Kind of annoying me. Kind of annoying me. <laughs> Let's see what the Gaster goes for. I'm going for an Earth Power right into my Tauros. Tauros. Oh, wow. I was going to say it should soak pretty well, but took a nice chunk of damage. I'm going after Gastron. I'm not playing games with this T-Tar. I'm not playing games with this T-Tar. I'm going to hit this Gastron as hard as I can. Try to KO it. Just get rid of that. And then from here, I could just Flash Cannon for this slot, you know? I could Thrasalize, but there's no point to. I'm just going to Flash Cannon. I feel like he's going to Thrasalize here. I'm going right after this Gastron. I'm taking that thing out. That thing's annoying me. Because if I can get rid of Gastron and give Taurus another turn, like this, this could be huge. Because then I can Aqua Jet because I'm plus six. And I can just start ripping in these Pokemon. The close combat's flying. Take out this Gastron, please. Yeah, we're maxed out on attack. This bull's going off. And now Flash Cannon's going to do a nice chunk of damage over on this Pokemon. A little bit of Flash Cannon action. A little bit of cannon. Look at that. Boop. Half an that HP. I have Aqua Jet if I want to rip into Pokemon. If I know I outspeed, I'm just going to hit, hit him as hard as I can. He has no Storm Drain anymore, so Raging Bulls are ready to go. Raging Bulls are ready to go. I'm loving this Taurus so far. This Taurus is really, really good. Let's see who he brings out. He's going to bring out Garchomp. Taurus outspeeds. Taurus outspeeds. This is a Raging Bull 100% right in the Garchomp slot. The Raging Bull call all day, and then we'll flash cannon for the KO onto Glamour. Garchomp protects. That's fine. I don't think actually Glamour might outspeed my my Hydreigon. Please don't. Please do not outspeed my Hydreigon. I need my bull for another turn. Please, Hydreigon. That hurts soul. Dodge a Taurus. Dodge a Taurus. Dodge a Taurus. Hurts soul. See you later, Taurus. Taurus dies out. We get rid of Glamour though. Oh, you poison me. How dare you? Unreal. Poison me. How dare you? Okay, I still have Ice Shard Frost last which is pretty solid. Really, really solid. My problem here is I want to EQ with my Garchomp. And if I EQ, I basically just kill my uh Oh, is that poison gonna take us out? Yeah, poison and sandstorm. Yeah, okay, so we're not we're dead there. My problem here is here is if I EQ with my frost last, we die. We just KO it, and I kind of need it. I could Destiny Bond. Oh, I could Destiny Bond. I'm going to Destiny Bond set up here. I'm going to protect, and I'm going to Destiny Bond. And the reason I want to do that is because I think he's going to protect the T-Tar. And pop an EQ. And if I can Destiny Bond out, see what he's terrestrializing into, we can go from there. I'm, I'm with that all day. So I'm going to protect you. I'm going for the Destiny Bond play. I'm looking to pull it off. Hopefully we can rock out with it. Let's see. Terrasalize into the ground, Garchomp. Into the ground, Garchomp, please, and thank you. Into the ground, Garchomp. Give it to me. Fire. Okay, that's fine. It seems like you're going after my Frostlass. That's fine. That's fine. And we'll see. We protect the Chomp. You have to go after my Frostlass. You have to. Destiny Bomb coming out. Just pop the EQ or go after my Frostlass. Terrorblast. Going into my car chop? What are you doing? Come on now. That ain't cool. Not cool at all. Not cool at all. You just fire Terra Blast into my car chop slot? Drive me crazy. Alright, EQ's coming. We 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 going in this. Sorry, Frostlass. You're dead. You're dead. I can't I can't go into another Destiny Bond. I am Destiny Bond. If this Pokemon is knocked out by opponent, it will also paint. What happens if my Garchomp hits it? Oh my god. What happens if my Garchomp hits it? Screw it. We're, we're doing this. We're doing this. We're popping EQ. And I'm going to Ice Shard you just in case you're sashed. <laughs> what is going on? This game's wild. This game is wild. What happens if I KO my Frostless? Will my Garchomp die? That would be a terrible way to lose lose this final battle. That would be awful. I would not want to play this game anymore. 
I should just fly in just in case he stashed. You want to get rid of that. Dragon Claw's going to fly here. Get a crit. Are you kidding me? I'm going to rough skin and Rocky Helmet you. Yeah, take that damage, baby. My Garchomp should be able to outspeed. It does. It does indeed. It does indeed. KO everything on the floor. We don't KO the Titar. We don't KO the Frostlass. And I think we're going to lose this. Is he going for Rock Slide? No shot. No shot. The Garchomp beat pretty well. Hold up. I think we won this. <laughs> I think we won this. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Free EQs popping all day. All right, let's go. I thought we were going to lose that one to that Rock Slide. Awesome, awesome, awesome. EQ flies out here. Beautiful. This battle came this close, but this time we're on the we're on the winning side, which is absolutely amazing. We grab ourselves a two and one winning record for today's video. Great set of battles for today's video. Ended up going two and one and grabbing ourselves this winning record. But Water Tauros was absolutely amazing. I loved it. Paired up with the Frost Slash, dropping a Frost Breath, and then uh, Tauros just absolutely ripping into every single Pokemon. But this team all around was really solid for the Master Tier. Ended up grabbing some wins with it and bringing my rank up. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.